Hey guys, so it is Thursday night and I am leaving for Japan on Tuesday and Monday is Thanksgiving so everything's gonna be closed on Monday so I you better put your seatbelt on I need some new clothes I don't have a lot of clothes that I like with this new body and <laughs> Mike's putting Tony's look I literally look like I live in my car anyways I'm going to the mall now just to get a few pieces Tony and I are both trying to pack everything into a carry-on luggage which will be interesting I mean I went to Pennsylvania for five days with a carry-on luggage and it was fine so I'm not too worried I just need to get some new clothes I want to get pieces that are pretty universal um, I just don't have a lot I've gotten rid of a lot uh, for the past like two years like since I moved in I was really wearing a lot of leggings and graphic tees and stuff and now that I'm kind of like out of that and feeling good in myself and in my body again I need to get some new clothes I think that, honestly this is the first time in two years that I've really felt like myself like body wise so we're gonna go to the mall I'll be doing a haul and a packing video in this video so stay tuned and hopefully we find some good stuff okay so I'm in dynamite I wanted to do a top like this but the material is really really sheer not gonna work okay so I actually like the shirt maybe I'm gonna get it in a size large but this jacket is like I feel like I'm in the 80s like um what's that movie not Van Helsing I don't know just like not for me it's maybe a little bit long but we'll see I guess this is I guess this is a little bit of a bust okay so I have this desk that's the bane of my existence and I just keep throwing stuff that like I'm not using on here I need to organize it um but I need to empty out my Louis Vuitton toiletry kit which I did buy pre-loved on eBay actually and I'm going to start putting aside my everyday makeup to see what I'm going to bring because I'm really trying not to bring too much. So I just went through my everyday makeup and yes my house coat is on the floor because as I was emptying out the pods from my Nespresso canister a fucking spider crawled out of it. It was so gross. It was one of those gross white ones. I honestly had PTSD because it looked like the spider that I uh, coughed up. If you want to see that story time video, I'll link it down below. So yeah, I don't know where the spider is. I might have drowned it. I'm not sure, but I ripped off my house coat. So I'm not, I'm trying to only bring like this in terms of makeup, this Louis Vuitton thing. So I have, I'm going to bring obviously a cleanser. Um, I'm bringing my vitamin C serum, a vitamin enriched face base. And then in terms of foundation, I would really like to bring the Fenty uh, Pro Filter one I got, but it was too dark for me. So if I can exchange it before, I will. If not, the YSL Touche Clad All-in-One Glow Foundation. These um, concealers I wanted to try today, so that's why they're here. In one of Jamie Page's vlog she, yeah, videos, she was really liking those, and I've had them for a while, and I... I did like them, um, my Marc Jacobs bronzer, the Fenty primer, beauty blender, some brushes I want to brush, clean, eyebrow pencil, bra uh, bronzer, mascara liner, I think I might just bring the Jessie Pilot by Alexa Persico Cosmetics, a single shadow, the Tarte Park Avenue Princess uh, pretty bronze thing I like, eyelash curler, and then lips. Um, two peachy glosses, one lip liner, three lipsticks, and I might bring like a red, a pencil sharpener. I'm going to see if I can get a smaller, if I have a smaller setting powder, but if not, no big deal. And then perfume, I think I'm just going to bring um, the Namat, I think this is amber, amber oil. So it should all fit. If all goes according to plan, it will definitely all fit. I'm just going to wipe it off. I think, I think there's some primer on it on here. Oh my god, I cannot talk. I need to drink my coffee and it should be good to go by the way if you guys are thinking about getting a caboodle i love mine it holds so so much and you can just like close it and go so i love it finally made it out <laughs> laundry took like all day i'm gonna go into forever 21 i don't really need pants i have two pairs of jeans i have leggings i have black jeans i just really need to find some tops forever 21 is like one of the only places that i will actually try on clothes because they have their return policy so wish me luck I just did super quick makeup today um, I didn't even like bake or anything and I feel like my I really like that look I've been a little bit successful I got three tops but one is more casual I got one well I'll show you what I got feeling a little bit better um, I think I'm gonna go to there's a Le Vion Rose here and I'm gonna go see if I can get a new bra 
um, because I've been having like issues with my bras. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can get a new bra. I'm not sure what they'll have here. Then I have to go pick up my luggage at Tony's, which isn't a big deal because she's literally down the street. And then I want to kind of write out um, what I don't want to forget because I always end up forgetting something, whether it's like my contacts or, you know, something important. So I want to make sure I don't forget a thing. Okay, so I just got home and I'm going to show you what I got and then also show you my luggage. Okay, so I actually ordered a carry-on luggage from Amazon. So this is the first I'm seeing it. I'll link it down below. The reviews seem pretty good. You know what, even if it lasts one trip, I just didn't have time to go and order like a luggage online. How cute are my scissors, by the way? They're like rose gold, I don't know if you can tell. So I just went ahead and ordered it on Amazon. I know that you can get luggages at Winners, but Winners, like it's either hit or miss, and I really wanted a lightweight luggage so most of the weight could be taken up by stuff. So let's open it up. Okay, so moves really smooth so far. It's small. <laughs> it's really small. Okay, so oh, fuck. I don't know if I'll be able to even pack a ton in here. I'm really gonna power it down though, so we'll see. Is there instructions? How do I get this freaking lock open? I just wanna be able to open it. <laughs> I should've gotten the size bigger. I should've got the 24 inches instead of this little one. I can't tell if I'm just like losing it. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Okay, so I'm a little nervous about the size of this luggage. It's a little bit small, but I'm really trying not to bring a lot. So it could work out. I'll show you what I got at the stores. I didn't get too many things because like I said, I really only wanted to get like a few more tops just to wear that weren't just like um, super casual. But if worse comes to worse, I'll just go over to Tony's and borrow some stuff. So this I got a dyn dynamite. I got it in a size large because I figured it might shrink. Um, I might, it looks so weird on, it looks so weird off the um, hook or whatever, not on, but when it's on, it actually just looks like a really nice sweater. And at first I thought it would look like it would be weird uh, with this asymmetrical buttoning, but it actually looked pretty cute. And I think I might wear this to Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm not sure. And then wash it because I feel like it might shrink a little bit, but I got that from Dynamite. And then for Forever 21, um, I'm really, I actually really like this piece and I think it'll be really cute one day with a pair of my high-waisted shorts. It's just this sort of blousy material and it has like this, I don't know like what you would call this, like ruching, but it actually looks really cute. I got this in a size small. I thought I, would, I was gonna get it in a large. At first I was like, okay, I'm just, I tried on the large and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna get the large. But then when I actually tried on the small, it fit better and I'm trying to get better about not just buying things in a size large because I have body dysmorphia. So I got this and it actually looked really cute on and it was like a little bit dressier. I have this top. It's already full, the luggage is already full. Uh, this I probably won't bring or you know what, I, I might even travel in this. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Free People. Um, and at first when I put it on, I was like, this kind of looks like a garbage bag. But then the more I looked at it and like when it went off the shoulder, I thought it was actually pretty cute. It was $22. I got in a size small. It's just a nice army green color. Um, buttoned down the front like this with a little tie. So maybe I'll wear this on the plane. It kind of feels like a little pajama-y, pajama but I really liked the material. It reminded me of Free People. And then I got, um, I wanted a new bra, so there was a bra store nearby. I went to Le Vion Rose. I got size. I'm actually, my boobs actually shrunk, have shrunk since last time I got size. A lot of people ask me about my boobs. Um, I am apparently either a... Well, the girl thought I was a 34C, but I felt like I was a little bit bigger than that. So I decided to get a 36C because in my experience, like when Dr. Sino would measure me, um, I was always like a 34D. So I got a 36C and this bra looks a little bit weird, but I kind of liked it because I don't know, it's, it kind of feels like a little bit like a sports bra, but there's an actual bra little thing underneath. I like the way that they like pushed up my boobs kind of. So I just got this bra. And now I'm going to show you my packing list and then I'm going to try putting stuff in here. 
all the reviews were so positive. That's why I got it, but it looks so tiny. So Tony and I are actually only going to be in Japan for three days. Uh, two days are going to be travel days. So I'm not really counting that in terms of like outfits because they're going to be on me. And truthfully, I'll probably, even though I know it's kind of gross, I'll probably wear the same thing both ways. For my packing list, I have bralette, uh, two bras, Levi jeans, Zara jeans, leggings, a floral top I have, uh, the striped top, a plain white tee, a plain black tee. I'm only gonna bring like one pajama top and maybe two pajama bottoms. And then I'm gonna bring my Chanel espadrilles. I might bring both, I'm not really sure. Maybe booties, but in actuality, like I really don't think I'm gonna be overpacking. So I'm gonna go get some of the things that I know I'm gonna be including and we'll see how it goes. This is the first time I actually ever wrote out like a packing list. I have to paint my nails too. Normally I kind of just throw everything in. You know that meme that's like, okay, this might be a little bit TMI for some of you guys. I got a lot of questions about my like favorite underwear. I personally don't really wear underwear. With jeans, I'll wear underwear. With skirts, I always wear underwear. Dresses, always wear underwear. But like leggings, I don't really wear underwear. By the way, I'm wearing these um, TU leggings. I purchased a pair last year, uh, the gray ones, and they sent me the black ones. They're so comfortable. I'm thinking of doing a video about all my different favorite leggings, like where I would rank them because I have like my favorite brands and then I have random brands. So if you guys would be interested in like best leggings, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out some of these things and then like the, my handbag I'm gonna be carrying. I'm gonna be wearing a pair of Chanel espadrilles so that'll be good for weight. Um, and then everything, you know what? It's gonna be fine. This is gonna work, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I have my little striped shirt. I probably will wear these, uh, okay. And then I have a pair of Levi's. These I actually purchased this week. I got them for a really good sale. These are my first piece of, I guess more luxury denim. And the reason why I purchased them now is because I kind of feel like I'm at a point in this whole weight loss journey where my body is kind of stabilized. I'm gonna talk about this like a little bit when I get back because I do wanna start a workout regime when I get back. I'm starting to notice that now that I've lost weight and I feel really comfortable in my body and like I can go into stores and pretty much wear whatever I want. Like it might not look good, it might not be my style, but like it fits. And now I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, like yeah, I wish my butt was a little higher. I wish like my arms were a little bit more toned. I also have to do my cool sculpting video but anyways the reason why I got a pair of these jeans now is because I feel like my weight is a little bit more stabilized I'm not saying that if you are on a weight loss journey not to treat yourself to more expensive pieces I'm just saying for me I knew that I wanted to continue losing a little bit more weight so I didn't want to spend um you know a hundred ish a hundred plus dollars on a pair of jeans if I was still planning on losing weight which is why during the summertime I got a pair of jeans from Zara. I still love these jeans. They're the authentic denim. Tony actually got me these and they are very similar to the Levi's. Um, I will say though that if you watched my Target video that I did, like my shopping at Target, I said, I don't know why, like it always like looks like it's pulling even though they fit. Um, a lot of you guys said that you had similar issues with some of your pants. I'm happy to say that the Levi's don't do that. So I'm really happy about that and like they just fit so good and they have rips in them. So I really like those. I know people say to roll jeans, but are they, can you even roll them? Oh my God, one pair of jeans and this is already fucking full. This is like the worst purchase I've ever made. Okay, so then these are the pair of Levi's that I bought. I got these in a size 27. I have no idea what size equivalent that is. I asked Tony what size her, hers are. She said 26. I asked her if she thought 27 would fit me. She said that she did think that 27 would fit me. So I wonder, can you roll these? Is that even gonna make a big difference? It's like, like a giant. <laughs> I'm probably gonna wear these tomorrow, so. I'm just gonna put these in to see. Okay, so as you can see, we're three pieces in and it pretty much looks full. Um, this is the florally top. I've been really liking this with high-waisted jeans. It's a little bit less, I don't know. I just don't wanna only wear, you know, t-shirts when I'm there. I got these. It's sort of like a nice darker floral. It's not, it's still a floral. I got this at American Eagle a while ago, so it's probably not available. And then this is just a plain white tee. I get a lot of my plain white tees from Zara. Maybe I can roll these and 
try and save some space. Pajamas, I'm bringing two pair, two bottoms. So I'm bringing these like a little comfy pair. And then I'm also gonna bring a pair of shorts. Like, does this even work? Like, I feel like people who actually are good at packing are gonna watch us and be like, what the hell is this girl doing? Um, okay, then a pair of leggings. One of my favorite pairs, the Lululemon Aligns. I love these. These can roll up real small. This top, I'm not sure when I'll wear it, but I'm just gonna fold it anyways and put it in. Okay, if you are gonna get like a cheapish luggage off of Amazon, definitely don't get the 20 inch size because <laughs> it's so small. Um, I had a sleep shirt. Wait, where's my list? I have my shoes. I have my Chanel espadrilles over here. I don't know what color I'd end up wearing. I think I would wear, I don't even know if I'll bring the nude ones. They're looking a little rough, but they are so comfortable. And then I will probably wear the black pair that I got. So I'm gonna bring one of Mike's polo long sleeves. I think I'm just gonna bring this top. I'm sure you guys have seen that meme on Facebook, but it's like, I don't know why whenever I'm packing for a trip, I pack like assuming I'm gonna shit my pants like every single day. And it's so true. I think that's why I was starting to talk about underwear before. It's so true because like I said, I don't really wear underwear on a day-to-day -day basis. And whenever I go away, whether it's up to like a cottage or anything, I'm like, I need 18 pairs of underwear, like, or else I'm, I'm like freaking out. So um, I'm tr really trying not to overpack. And then what I'm also bringing, I'm bringing some of my makeup erasers. These are stained from makeup. I love these. Most of mine are not by the makeup eraser brand. Like this one is, but most of them are not. And they do the exact same thing. I get these at Winners and they just remove your makeup so, so easily. And whenever I go to someone's house or if I'm staying somewhere, I always bring my own face cloths because I feel rude wiping my face and then there being makeup on towels. Like I know that hotels are hotels and like people do much worse, but these just work really well. Um, I'm bringing three of them. Yeah, three nights. Perfect. Uh, dynamite. Okay, then this bra I will probably wear before, but you never know. So we'll just put the bra in the bra or whatever I'm assuming this is, the bra section. This dynamite top I will probably wear tomorrow. So I'll just put it in with everything. Okay. Okay. Well, I actually have pretty much fit everything in. Okay, so I actually decided to swap out this shirt for the shirt I could not find. Okay, then I have two, uh, one more pair of leggings. And then this is like my favorite shirt. People always, well, people like Michelle, Mike, Tony, they would always make fun of me for this shirt because when I had gained a lot of weight in like 2016, 2017, I wore the shirt often because this was like the only shirt that I felt good in. So it kind of became like a little bit of a security blanket for me. You know, it wasn't in a mean malicious way. They would just say like, oh, there she is in her favorite shirt, her favorite shirt. And like, it just became a joke. Tony would always say, what would you have done without that shirt if I didn't buy it for you for Christmas one year? I forgot I had also purchased this shirt at Target, which I think is really cute. Um, not sure when I'll wear it, maybe for dinner one night. So I will bring this and it doesn't take up any room. Okay, so I'm actually surprised because I pretty much have everything in here. I have the luggage, I just zipped it up. These are, this is basically, well, I just zipped it up to unzip it for you guys. Um, so this is basically my pants, my tops, uh, the plain tees, another top, two pairs of leggings. And then I have my face cloth, bras in here. So that's pretty much all done. And then in this side, I have my nude espadrilles, my pajamas. And then I also was worried about my makeup bag fitting, but I don't think that I will be putting this in my luggage. I think this will just go in my carry-on so I can just put a quick face on before we land. I think I'm actually, it's gonna be okay. So I have the makeup bag, but I don't think it'll go in here. And then I'm probably gonna wear my black espadrilles. Um, but I just wanna see. Okay. Let's zip it up. And there is a built-in lock. So we have the built-in lock. Let's see if we can get this out now. If everything except this fucking 
Okay, now it works. Yay! Okay. Oh my goodness. I think that for my carry-on, I think I will be doing the um, Longchamp bag that I have. Super, super light. This is a luggage review all of a sudden. The package itself was really um, lightweight, just like from the start, which made me really happy. And I pretty much have everything that I'm bringing in this little luggage. So I was really nervous at first. I didn't think it would fit much, but I am able to fit everything on my list plus more. So that makes me really happy. I am gonna be bringing a curling iron. I just checked online to see if you can bring a curling iron on the plane and you can. So I'm gonna bring my curling iron. They'll probably have a blow dryer there. I'm definitely gonna be curling my hair every day while I'm there because, I don't know. I mean, I do like straight hair, but I think curly hair is just nicer, but uh, on me. So I'll probably bring that. I also might bring a pair of booties, um, considering the weather in Japan is gonna be similar to Montreal. So I have a pair of booties I might bring. But I'm really actually excited because I didn't think anything would really fit in here, but I'm able to get everything. Over here, I'm just keeping everything that I don't want to forget for my carry-on. So this is actually um, a piece that I purchased pre-loved uh, from a Japanese eBay seller. I'm not sure which one, but I did purchase this on eBay. So this is one of my favorite purchases of all time. Um, I wanted to bring one of these just to have um, my perfume, but I'm also bringing, I'm also going to bring, I have gravel because I get nauseous. Um, these are so good. I actually got a compliment on, um, on this today when I, was, when I was at Dynamite. Actually, the woman working at the cash was a viewer of mine, and she was like, I don't know what you're wearing, but you smell so good. And I didn't even like go near her, I guess just like when I handed over something. Um, but I was wearing this today, so I'm definitely gonna bring this and the amber one. I have some of this ginger gum, which is good for nausea, that I got in the States at Whole Foods when I was there. Um, I'm gonna bring some type of sleeping mask. I, I think I'm actually gonna bring the Beauty Sleep Invisible Hydration Mask, just because it's so much smaller than this and like not as heavy. Um, an extra toothbrush. Well, actually, no, this is my toothbrush. I just didn't wanna forget it. I didn't wanna forget my contacts or glasses, so I have that all out already. Um, perfume, like I said, in case I wanted a spray. This is the Victor and Rolf bonbon um a granola bar um and then a sleeping mask this sleeping mask my friend steph recommended it doesn't like go right onto your eyes so it's actually really comfortable so that's stuff that i definitely want to remember for my carry-on charge my ipad and i finally started making a murderer i never really watched it i found it kind of boring um at the start but ever since i've been interested in Daniel Holtzclaw's case, I definitely want to learn more about wrongful convictions, um, even though I know Stephen Avery is kind of polarizing. So charging the iPad, I'm pretty much on track, which I'm happy about. Okay, the lighting in the kitchen sucks. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I wanted to close off. I'm actually wearing the top that I got at Dynamite yesterday, and it looks really, really cute. Um, I, the reason why I got a size large instead of a medium is because I felt like this fabric might shrink a little bit and once it shrinks just a touch more, it'll be perfect. I washed my everyday brushes, um, so that's done and I'm pretty much packed. I cannot believe it. I wanted to get my packing all done this weekend, all my laundry done this weekend. I did so much laundry, but it's all folded, it's all done. I really didn't want to be stressing Monday night, Tuesday morning. I wanted to have it like all pretty much done so I could focus on other things for the next couple of days. So now I'm just getting ready to head to my grandparents' Thanksgiving dinner, and I will see you in the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you I hope that you're excited for Japan vlogs, because I am, I'm so excited to be going, and I can't wait to take you guys with me. I cannot believe I'm going to Japan. So make sure you follow me on Instagram for updates on my stories. Um, I'll be vlogging, well like insta storing of course, then vlogging. So I'm really, really excited. I'm excited to bring you guys with me, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.